it's time for a minute or three with a double D. Taking pictures of yourself is a trend that's popular all over the world, but do you use selfie responsibly? Hi, the Double D with you. Hope you're having a great day as always, and may it continue to be a good day. It's a problem many people face daily. How do you get the perfect selfie angle? But with the invention of the selfie stick, taking that all-important picture of your morning, lunchtime, evening, bedtime routine got a whole lot easier, right? Wrong. According to this hilarious ad that you may have seen or may have not seen, in the clip, a group are seen in a car with an extravagant selfie stick before taking out a lemonade stand, knocking over innocent cyclists and all that kind of stuff. Another man falls over his selfie stick, knocking over his TV and damaging furniture as he struggles to stand upright. YouTube selfie stick chaos, the spoof, warns of the dangers of the ever-growing selfie stick. The host of the ad says, by moving the camera away from the central subject of the selfie, selfie sticks create the illusion that other objects, place, and even people exist. Please warn those you love about the dangers of selfie stick abuse. Please selfie responsibly. Until next time, may the good Lord bless you real good. Don't forget to smile. It increases your face value. And it might even make a better selfie for you. (laughs) And if you think you're getting to the end of your rope, just tie a little knot in it and hang on. But as my good friend John L. always said, just be sure it's not a slip knot, all right? Hootie hoo! A minute or three with a double D.